All right, let's check this out. <laughs> cool. I'm being super picky. Watch out. He has kind of a path Oops. towards us. And then, whoa, and at the end, he suddenly does like a, a, a sharp turn to the left. Boop, boop, right there. I'm being super picky, but there's just something about this rotation being pretty simple coming towards us. And then suddenly it's kind of a move. If you could blend that. But the reaction is great. You catch his eyes right at the end. I think this is all great. If you want to be uh, going into super polish, this door moves on a linear key. This is a linear key moving over. So at this point, you shouldn't really have any linear keys unless it is hitting a wall or you know, anything specific. But this is, you know, this has a certain weight to it. It's going to be a gradual move. Um, it's going to ease out. So what you want to do also is show some flattening, some pressure on those fingers, a little bit of a slight change in the wrist, maybe two or three frames before she applies pressure and then this eases out and then starts moving. So I'll be careful with stuff like that. Same thing here, depending on how strong you want her to push on this, you could have a slight spreading of the fingers. That's all cool. This still feels a bit soft, how she gets to this pose and then to that. It was very even. It was like your curves go, you know, it's a very, very even, no contrasted timing there. When she moves, this seems a bit simple and it's translate. You can uh, it's translate and rotate, rotate, sorry. So uh, the wrist could kind of pivot off. It just kind of comes off. There's no peeling off. There's no rotation forward, sideways, some finger stuff. Um, it feels a bit simple there. Uh, and it's a weird path. This comes around, suddenly goes down, boom, hits a really sudden stop and then kind of drifts around there. And this feels a bit IK where the wrist orientation is kind of the same throughout as the arm makes a big move. So you want your wrist to follow that forearm just a bit more to take away that um, IK curse. But your turn is much better. Yeah, the head stuff definitely better. Leads a lot more than she turns, which is great. The weird thing now is that you still having, if you look at the ratio between this breast and this arm, see how it's locked? There's no real something going on. I see a little wrist rotation there, but there's no real change there up until maybe around here. So that just still feels still a bit stiff. And then when you get to this part, look out, there's a lot of movement through here. Look at the head. The head just translates. There's no more rotation through here. Same thing here. So now you, it feels like you have head align or head IK on. Um, so that still feels a bit broken. Now you can probably take the hip rotation now, like 15% hip rotation in Y, just so it's not completely broken where this turns so much and this doesn't fall at all. So just a bit soften that. This is a fast move over here, Boop, right there. Especially, especially since she's technically off balance, right? She's leaning a lot this way. So to suddenly move over there is physically a bit impossible. So I would really ease into that just a bit slower. You might have to start a bit sooner. Um, you might have to move the root a bit over throughout here, actually move it this way. So she is leaning over this side a bit more. You can see how she's too far back to the right to make this work. And that way, when you're already with the root more here, you will have to travel less, which means that you can keep the, the, the start and end time, but it still make it slower. It will be automatically slower. <sighs> Why is it so hard to find a good man? Whoa, what is going on here? Why is it so hard to find a good man? Yeah, we definitely went too big. It's always good to go big so we can scale down. This could be scaled down by a factor of a million. Why is it so hard to find a good man? I mean, I'm assuming that's what you're going for. I'm very curious. Was that just to see, well, let's just push this and see what's going on. 
But this is really big. I'm very curious what your intentions were through here. <sighs> Why is it so hard to find a good man? Yeah, this is really, really too big. Uh, I don't see anything in your email where you, I don't know if you want to try something. This seems really, really, really way too big. I'm just curious. Did you, do you see that? Like, what's your thought process on this? With so much movement. <sighs> Stop it right there. There's so much going on here. Also, be careful. This feels like she's looking here. It's looking a bit more here. Might be just the light on this that fools me, but you might have to move your eye a little bit to the right. Why is it so hard to find a good man? And if I be picky, you need a bit some rotation in here. Like this starts to break. So as you go down, the wrist might, like this line might go down a bit. You know, rotate down a bit and twist just a bit so it doesn't feel like it's such an IKEA hand again. But yeah, this, all that movement, very curious uh, what your thoughts are on that. All right, let me know. Email me. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.